Hello and welcome to Brian Scott Games. I am Brian, and today I got a game called Scuttle. Scuttle is a 2-3 player card game by Peter Hayward and is currently seeking funding on Kickstarter. In this game, players are pirates attempting to find 21 doubloons before their opponents. If you have heard of a game called Cuttle, this will sound familiar. Only Scuttle adds a cool pirate theme and everything is better with pirates. So, let's check it out and I'll show you how to use the cannon to blast your opponents the cutlass to block them, and to find the most buried treasure in Scuttle. To set up, deal each player five cards. The player to the left of the dealer goes first. On your turn, you can either play a card or draw a card. When you play a card, you can either play it with its action you can either play it with its action or as money. So, this is Blackjack. You can draw two cards and play one of them. Pirate King, the more you play, the less things you need to win. Instead of 21, 14, you play two of them, nine. You play three of them, you only need four. And a bunch of others. So let's say they play nine as money. Now, it's the next player's turn. They choose to draw, because they don't think they have a, a, a very good hand. And this player plays a pirate code, same card they played, only as an action. So now, everybody else needs four more treasure to win, until this is gone. It, it is a permit card, so it is played side. Now it's the next player's turn. They play blackjack, he gets discarded, and they draw two cards and play one of them. So they want to play the Kraken as an action. It's discarded, and then you remove all permanent cards from play. So this is a permanent card, so it's removed from play and placed in the discard. Okay, so the Cutlass blocks an opponent's action, and you discard this card and that card. Um, the cannon, the one opponent discards two cards of their choice. Uh, there's a ton of others. Uh, the monkey, uh, pick any card from the discard. discard. So he's going to play monkey. It goes here, and he gets to pick one. Black. So it puts it in his hand, that's discard. Play continues until one player gets 21 doubloons. The closer you get to the end, the harder it gets. Um, there's a bunch of cards, like the cannon. Um, okay, here. Queen, first mate. You, all of your treasure cards are now protected. So that means that people can't steal them or wash them away with the ace maelstorm. Um, there's also another card. Let me get one. Here's the Ace Maelstorm. Discard all unprotected treasure cards from play. And then the Kraken, remove all the permanent cards from play. The Jack, look out. Steal an unprotected treasure card and keep it and protect it. So, you could steal a treasure, like, steal it, and then it is now protected. Once somebody gets 21 doubloons, Gather all of the cards, uh, shuffle them, and play again. Okay, we got my dad here for a parent's opinion. So dad, what do you think of Scuttle? Scuttle was a really fun game for me. Um, it's really fast. Uh, you can pull it out and play it anywhere, like if you're standing in line at a convention, uh, if you're you know, in a car driving uh, somewhere on a road trip. Um, it's definitely something that you can pull out, get a few games in, uh, and it's not going to take a whole lot of time. So it's for two to three players, and I, I've said that, but it's a lot faster with two players. Like, we could end it in four turns. Yeah, there were several times where, depending on which cards you had, you could make, so you didn't have to get to 21, only 14, um, and then it would end really fast. Uh, but yeah. I think that adds to, to the charm of the game, that you can, you know, have a round go real fast. You just okay. shuffle them, deal them again, and play again. The puzzles are nice. There are cards. Um, the artwork is wonderful. It's pirate theme. It's cartoony. 
Yeah, I had never played Cuddle, the game that this is based off of. Which is um, with face cards. Prior to this, it's with face cards, and you kind of have to remember what you know, they all what, mean. What sevens do and what twos do. Um, but what they've done here with this one is they put the pirate theme on there, which is really very fun because pirates are, are you know, naturally just more cutthroat. And that's a little bit how this game is. Because um, you're trying to save your doubloons, but people are trying to steal them, um, and they're trying to get their doubloons first. Um, so it just naturally leans towards pirates, in, in my mind. Um, so the pirate theme really fits well. Um, and then there's text on there for each of the numbers. So you know, oh, this one blows up two of the other player's cards type of a thing. There's a bit of strategy in it, like which cards to play, uh, play, draw. But it's really simple. There's a little bit of reading involved, yeah, the but reading, not a lot. The reading would make it so that you know, you're... you're you know, kindergarten. But we have a four-year-old playing it. Yeah, he played it, but we kind of had to read it what the, those cards did. Um, but yeah, this one's accessible for many ages. Um, very easy rules. There's not a whole lot of rules. Um, you know, you you draw a card or play a card. You play a card, you play in it for your money, or you play in it for an action. That's about it. Be straightforward. Yep. So I think this one's really good for families. Um, it's and easy the theme. for kids. Yep, easy for kids. Um, there's a little bit of strategy there, too. You know, which cards am I going to play? Am I going to lower uh, the number of doubloons that I need to win? Am I going to steal from him? Am I going to protect mine? So there's a lot of options there. Overall, it's a really good game. Nice cards. The artwork is wonderful. The strategy, and there's a strategy. It's easy for kids. We really like this game. Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised with this one uh, when I looked up how to play Cuddle. Um, and then I saw the, this version called Scuttle. Um, and I was blown away. I mean, this is a, a very cool game, and I hope that it uh, funds on Kickstarter, um, and it is successful to bring this game uh, to market. Um, we really had a fun time playing it. It's a cool theme. It's a good one to play, um, and, it, and it's real fast. It's a good filler-type game. Or if you don't have a whole lot of time uh, at, you know, at night when you're at home, you can pull this one out, play a few rounds. Um, Got a few minutes left when you're playing with your friends? Yep, definitely. It's a fast one, um, and, and we really like it. Thanks for watching Brian Scott Game. Please like us on our Facebook page. Send us a tweet at Brian Scott Game. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Brian. This is my dad. See you next time.